Assalamualaikum everyone. So this is me as well, Tabrar, your learning partner. I'm a student of Kasi Modern School and College, and I'm also a TESOL learner. So today we are going to talk about a nat nature-related topic. So our today's topic will be about environment. So with the next uh, talking, let's begin our today's presentation. Well, we uh, live in an environment, so if we don't have a suitable and non-environment, then we can't live. So where we can live, can you think it, guys? So to live, we need environment. So all the living things live in earth comes under the environment. It's true according to the experiment. Whether, whatever it comes from our, uh, from air, from water, from land. Also, they are part of environment. So the environment also includes sunlight, water, plants, animals, etc. So, if you talk about the importance that how natural environment is so important, so we can't truly understandable to all of. So, and also with that we can express those importances in only one sentence. So, how important the environment is, you also can't imagine. So, um, environment helps us to lead a good environment and also it plays a vital role in keeping living beings healthy. So if the environment is not unhealthy, it's unhealthy, so we can't live and we may die. So a good environment and a healthy environment is needed to stay alive. So with that, it helps us maintaining various life cycles like we know in the air, water cycles of rain occurs and with that, there is an ecosystem that is situated in our world, uh, in our Earth's atmosphere. So, if the cycle is not maintaining one cereal by cereal, then otherwise the environment will be destroyed. And if the cerealization is maintained, then it can be great. And the environment will be non-destroyed. I mean, uh, it will not be destroyed. Sorry. Um, so besides that, we can tell our environment is the natural and the only source. And then there are lots of artificial sources, okay? So, the natural source of beauty. And is necessary for maintaining mental and physical health. So now, um, let's talk about San Martin. Mm, this is the most beautiful waterfall be uh, San Martin and I, I have gone to San Martin last year and it was so nice that there are lots of nice waterfalls there are lots of hilly mountains so by this we can see that these are a part of environment and when we see these and we take a long breath with those waterfalls then we feel like we are in a peace we are in a heaven feels like that. It's so calm and quiet and cool so that it can help you in mental and physical health from any stresses, from any hypertension, from any bad stress. So, um, that the environment has, a, has also lots of influences. It can be said like the forest and the trees and also part of environment guys. I think all of you know. These, in, uh, these elements help filter the poisonous air and absorb the harmful gases like methane, CO2, SO2 or like sulfur dioxide, something like um, some more poisonous gases are there in this earth atmosphere. So these poisonous gases are absorbed by trees and forests. So, and it reduces the chance of natural disasters and also maintain the Earth's atmosphere's eco uh, ecosystem. 
So, with that, environment helps maintaining the life cycle. So, you know, like, there are uh, cycles. So, if the cycle is not maintained, then you may die. And if the cycle is maintained, then you will alive. So, environment provides us food, shelter, air, water, fertile lands, livestock, and other essential animals for survival. Then, you see, we are eating rice, we are eating fish, we are eating vegetables, and do you guys think where from uh, from where we get those um, foods? Yes, we get those foods from our environment. We get fish from water. We get meat from cows, buffaloes, and we got vegetables from gardens. So these are the parts of environment from where we can get our food and we can keep ourselves alive and also we can keep ourselves healthy. And also in village agriculture is most famous because there are lots of livestock and we, uh, many people farmer uh, many people are rearing poultry farms and with that the farmers are also rearing agriculture and they're selling and exporting to different countries and earning a source of their livelihood. So if we talk about how the environment is destroying, you know guys, human beings are the most dangerous and disastrous so human beings uh, are creating um, disastrous um, uh, disastrous thing on the environment so you know the fossil fuels are increasing day by day so due to fossil fuel increasing black smoke is rising in the air and also the water the uh, the oils of chemicals factories and poisonous chemicals are mixing with water and also the urination and some other harmful things are mixing with the soil and these three important elements of environment are getting destroyed for humans uh, disastrous um, human disaster human uh, harmful on environment so we can say um, in any time you know according to the research Bangladesh and Maldives can any time um, flood it halfly. So with that, the natural disasters um, rate will also increase. Like um, in summer, it will be winter. In winter, uh, it will be summer. There will be a abnormal um, weather. Then there will be an um, unsystematic weather. So for this. The weather climate and also the climate change will occur. And you know, the Antarctica's ice are also blasting and also they are melting and this is increasing the rise of sea level. And for this, the environment is getting destroyed. So, from now on, we will just plant more and more trees and raise awareness among lots of people in this world to uh, plant more trees and keep the soil, water, air safe and also keep themselves safe from less, uh, from using less fossil fuel. So, with this conclusion, I would like to end my presentation today. Okay guys, so I hope all of you have liked this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel as well and stay with me to learn something new things. So till then, we will meet together in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Happy learning and laughing.